Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, plans not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Welcome back to this series of what I call owning your own home in 2023, 2020, 2024, 2025. Well, I know you have watched last week and then we have a lot of questions. I've seen the questions and I'm going to answer them as soon as they come in. If this is your first, first time to my channel, let me say welcome, welcome, welcome. For my regular viewers, we know that this is not the normal scheme of things. But, you know, we're all about inspiring and motivating people. And as such, this series is just to motivate you. Because if God did it for me, he can do it for you too. So let's get right into it now. So this week, we're going to look at finding the place, finding the ideal place that you want. And I must say that oh, this was one of the hardest, this is the hardest part of the process. You know, really hardest part of the process because you don't want to make sure that what you get is what you want. And sometimes we settle for less than what we want, but here, we, here me are telling you today, we're not settled, you know, we're not settling, you're going to get exactly what you want. So, I must admit that I've been house hunting for almost two years. Yes, man, you know, easy, God bless, you know, the few and lucky are they who can just go to a property and, you know, and say, this is what I want and get what I want. But for me, you know, I'm kind of picky, you know, I'm kind of very, very picky. And so um, it took me a while, like it took me a while. And if you are in the process of looking now, don't get discouraged. Do not get discouraged because the right place for you is there. Just be resolute in what you want and decide your not set a place. All right. So this part of the process, you need a realtor. Realtor, yes, man. The person that we can we walk, carry around, and show the different places, and give you the different this and the different that, and you know that person who knows the ins and outs of of the different properties that are being developed and how they are being developed and the square feet and all of that. So you need a realtor. So you need to find one. When you find your realtor, the realtor would ask you a series of questions, and that will allow them to kind of narrow down your search for me it is just too much me just couldn't bother yeah I go to one property and when I go one property I don't like it when I go there so everything is fine and then this one thing the nice and then I go over yes and then this everything nice except this one thing which leads me to the point of non-negotiable when you are trying to find your ideal house home, property, there are something that, call, that is called a non-negotiable that I came to terms with and that is what I use to make sure that I get what I want. What do I mean, what do I mean by non-negotiable? Some things that you are looking for that you will not negotiate on. What is that for you? It all depends on your circumstance and your, and your, your ideal. For me, my non-negotiables non were I must have a big bedroom like my bedroom must can be able to hold a king-size bed and we can run round you know and run round and run round that was one of my non-negotiable another non-negotiable for me was the kitchen space the kitchen must be lovely the kitchen must have space mind you <laughs> don't ask me if I cook or if I don't cook that's not the point focus <laughs> So my, and my kitchen was my non-negotiable and an, another non-negotiable for me was me have more than one rooms, right? So no matter where me go, if it is a one bedroom house, me not interested, no waste your time. If you wanna go into the bedroom and it is less than 1200 square feet, 
Nobody waste my time because it's a part of my non-negotiable. The bedroom of a big. A part of another non-negotiable for me was a closet space. Like brothers and sisters, this way made a group. I have one black pants and my mother used to buy me whole different shirts so I can you know, move around with a different shirt with one pants and I never have one good shoes I used to teep. my daddy used to have people send clocks in from England and me and my mother used to plan I would teep out the shoes my wear so like she would give me the shoes and we wear it at church and then we call her and say daddy the home because if daddy ever see me I come in <laughs> In them clocks, you know, in now go down the so, so you know, my mother would plan up and you know, look events. We used to in our daddy's shoes. And I remembered when I when my house was destroyed in fire, everything lost. So, brothers and sisters, you know, I come from a humble beginning where we never have enough. But no, oh my god, when it rains, it pours like I mean, the amount of shoes, the amount of clothes, the amount of shirt, the amount of stuff that I have. And it's only because, you know, of God, you know. So when he's ready for you, don't watch. Don't watch what's going on now. Because when he's ready for pour out your blessings, if he pour it out for me, I'll pour it out for you. Remember me tell you? Remember me tell you. Anyways, back to the story. So because I have so much, I said that I must have a, a, a relatively big closet space. More walking in my closet. I can walk in my closet and I can turn around and turn around. So that was part of my non negotiable. The bathroom, too, must be big. I can't go in the liquor something. The bathroom must be big. So those were my main non negotiable when it comes on to car park, when it comes on to land space around the house, when it comes on to other little things. You know, you know, you know those weren't such a big deal. But I had to stick to my non-negotiable to make sure I find exactly what I want. So what I want you to do now, if you're interested in owning your own home, get out a pen and paper, write down what are the things that you want. Write down the things you want. Most of this, most of this, most of that, most of this, most of that. Write it down. That will help you to find the place that you want. Because you don't want to buy somewhere and then after after you move in, after the bank approve you, after you move in and you know you're living there for a while, you're uncomfortable. And you say, but this can't hold me. This this not suit me. This this is not what I want. So avoid that. Create a list of non-negotiable and give that to your realtor and let your realtor help you find the place you want. For me, as I said before, it never easy because you know my picky. So I'd have gone to places, properties over properties, properties over properties. And then when we go, I remember going to this property, everything was fine in that property, except that the washroom, you have to go out on the balcony and the balcony is facing the road. You have to go out on the balcony and then the, the, the washroom is in a room on the balcony. If you get to me, I say. So when you go out of the out of your apartment on the balcony, you're facing the road, and then now the apartment, the, the washroom is right on the balcony. So me, I say, we don't want me I wash out my two pieces of clothes then, and me if you walk up on the balcony so people can see me and my yard, I come out from my veranda on my balcony, and I got a washroom and me are coming back with the laundry. So that was you know that never cut it for me. I remember going somewhere again and the property when you go on the inside the house nice when you go inside the, the, the closet space big the bathroom you can play you can play tennis in there the bedroom is nice but the only thing that the kitchen the ki the, the apartment had too many walls inside so because there are too many walls you feel like some maze i never liked that i mean i said jesus god Go live on that tree. <laughs> you know me. I say. You know me. I get frustrated. You no know, me. I say, Jano, Jano. So, so I saying all of this to say it's not an easy process. So I'm gonna show you now some of the places that I've gone to. I'm gonna show you. You know the different things, the different things that you know I excel and different things that I like. So take a look at these tours.
like the kitchen, like it's small, like I would need more space, like I want a bigger kitchen. Yeah? And the hmm, temple of four bars so, and this is the living room, but this is a space like it's just literally just a long little coach, right? It's just like a small space. Like it's a balcony. So there's going to be a tub, like, like a jacuzzi, and the shower, um, the toilet there, and then it's going to be a double vanity. So it's going to be a double vanity, you can see the lights for that, so uh, it looks really good. I love the white, the white concept, really love it, just accessorize it nice. This is my favorite part, which is the closet. It's big, very, very big, very big, very big closet uh, space. This is the master bedroom, love it, and then that first part of the entire thing, which I love so much. I really like it. Yeah. And there's my other side there. Yeah? Oh, yeah, so I show you now. So, those are some of the properties that I've gone to, and um, we never really like them. That is the truth. If some, some, you get good in this part this part is good they know that part is not good and i just know i wouldn't feel comfortable and so when you are looking for that property make sure that you are comfortable and let me tell you from no it never see it from the start don't go to the print before you start the process here put it in a god hand you know as i started this episode by by by, by reference in jeremiah 29 verse 11 for i know the plans are for you Plans to prosper, give you hope, and you know, give you a future. So you have to trust God in the process. Trust God in the process, and He will definitely find a way for you. So, if you're on this journey with me, just know, say, it's not easy. It's not easy, you know, and it is there for you. The property that you want is there for you. Let me tell you something. The prices, hallelujah. The prices, like the cost of housing in Jamaica now, it is. Why? We don't know. Like, my friend bought an apartment, um, and she told me that when she bought the apartment, she paid 17 million. And it was like about three, three years ago, four years ago. Then the price didn't go again. Because when we tell her, said, my apartment is like three, four, five, six minutes. <laughs> it's like more than double that amount. I'm saying, no, the prices are high. So to get what you want, you have to pay the price. You have to really pay the price. So you have to hurry up because it's getting dearer and dearer and dearer like the, the prices for apartments and, and houses are going up so if you need if you need if you plan to get a house start the process no the earlier start the process the cheaper for you had i started the process a year or two years ago i already started the process a year or two ago i'm just gonna find a way 
because God had somewhere, I feel like preaching. God has somewhere, God has somewhere for me and he had, he, he has somewhere for you too. But start the process. Start the process now because the prices are going up. I know you're going to put in the comment how much you pay for your apartment, how much you pay for your apartment. But may I tell you, say, apartments, no. If you find an apartment under, like, for more than two bedrooms, under $30 million, no. In Kingston, Jamaica, well, consider yourself lucky. Right, so I know, I know some of you are asking, all right, tell me, tell me, how did you find your property? Boy. I, <laughs> you know, I saw a property, um, the one that I talk about with the, with the, with the, with the, the, with the laundry room and the brand, that was one of the properties that I saw and like everything was good. The living room was a bit small for there, you know, but me that's all right, me will take it because, you know, the bedroom nice, the closet nice, the kitchen nice, and the living room, it wasn't too much of my non-negotiable, even though I like to host, right? But... Um, I said, no, 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 they are, you know, sit well with me. I traveled and while I was overseas, something said, go on back and go look for the property again. So as I reached back to Jamaica and I called the realtor and said, hey, I'm back in Jamaica. I want to look back on the property. But this time I decided not to go alone. And this is very important, people. Find someone who knows who already in the industry, who knows about house, who knows about this, and ask for an opinion. It's always good to get an opinion. Many of them have said, don't put people in your business and blah, 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 blah. Whatever God had for you, nobody can take it. Just, you know, we just always rubbish that, you know. Whatever God has for you, nobody can take it. So if someone comes on the spirit and say, ask this person, ask that person, I'm going to ask. That's me. So now I decided that I'm gonna go back and look at the place, but me nan go alone. Yeah, care my friend Nicole. <laughs> so Nicole is a good friend of mine. Um, who she, you know, she she inspired me based on where she lived at the time. And I remember visiting Nicole's home. I mean, I said Nicole. Matter of fact, two places Nicole go. Me no know she just looking to find a nice house them and the nice things them. Um, so I went to one of her property. It was on Elizabeth. Um, and you know, I'm saying, Nicole, this is really nice. You know, upstairs and downstairs is nice. And you know, she sells, um, she, she, she owns a business that sells house decoration and all of the nice stuff for your house. You know, she's gonna come on on one of the episodes, so you'll see her. And I, I said to Nicole, that Nicole, the place is nice. And then she moved and she's gonna want next nice place. And I said, Nicole, this is nice. So I, I find that Nicole has a little touch. You know, for niceness or just a little touch of my style, you understand me? So I decided that, all right, I'm going to carry Nicole to the site visit this time. So I called Nicole and Nicole said to me, say, um, Mr. Nicole, I want to go tomorrow morning. Um, you can do it. And she said, all right, depends on what time to call when you go. Because people sometimes, Nicole, one like say she busy and everybody else. I mean, can't bother with her sometimes too, you understand me? But I said, all right, Nicole, tomorrow morning, <laughs> I'm going to call you. So when I arrange with the router now and then, you know, on the way, I call Nicole. I said, Nicole, um, we're going to the place now. We can come look. And she said, all right, where are you? I just have to drive out of my house. So I said, Nicole, forward. So now Nicole went, came to the place and, you know, she, she had some issues with the finishing. With the finishing that, you know, I didn't even really look at too much. And she had said, no man, the grill not look right. The grill, cheap, whatever, cheap labor. You know, she had the little issues. She had the same issue that I had with the balcony. And Nicole just said to me, sir, um, Rajan, come in my car, go on I'm a, on I'm a friend. in my bill of property. And I said, all right, come. So I tell her, thank you, and we move on. So Nicole carried me down to this property when I came oh my god I wish I could show this stuff because we don't want to come hold me up you know? I wish I wish I could just show you know I, for, for security and safety reason I'm trying my best not to show where I'm located now you know I don't I don't know by the end of the season I, 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 I pray about it and ask God but now I'm worried about my safety and my you know that's one of my biggest things safety and security so um when when Nicole brought me to the place it was like it was a structure it was a structure and you know work was being done because wolf and man upon the construction site and you know she would pull up at the side dust dust it and kill you and then she said i'm a friend of i'm a friend of building property man i'm a friend of building property i'm a sorry nicole 
is is he there Nicole says she don't know anyways we pull up to the property and when we walk when when we knock the they come you know when i build when i build um construction and then put up the gate and he said no workers needed you know so we knock the knock the fence and somebody come out and said nicole are you man and then now uh, they open the gate the the, the the sink gate and we came we went on the inside and as we go up on the inside is the developer that who could it be but god Anyways, you know, she introduced me and said, um, this is my friend Rajan, he's trying to find a property and yeah, the person said to me, I'm not call him name, um, he said to me, say, oh cool, maybe you're at the right place. Same so said to me, you're at the right place. Somebody said, oh, you so show me that the right place. He said, because you're at the right place. Same so said, all right, you know, what are you looking for? I tell him, say, all right, he said, come and show you um, one of the property. And where I'm sitting now is the exact property he walked me into. When he walked me in, we have to kind of, because I'm on, I'm, on I'm on the third floor. So when we walk in, we have to climb some stairs and we have to have a whole hand to go up the stairs. That's how, that's how deep it was into construction. And we, we, we each on the side and we come into the property and he say, that will be your kitchen. This is your living room. That's your primary bedroom. This is your that. This is your that. This is that. So I'm gonna start asking the question you now. What will the ceiling be like? I'm gonna ask him. Show me the closet space and you know, um, I'm gonna show me the place. And when I walked in the property, even though I couldn't see the finish, the, I couldn't see the finish. What it will look like, I felt like I've hit the spot. You know, I felt like I am where. God want me to be. I just, I just feel it because one, the morning Nicole was available and two, when I reached the property, the owner was here that can actually carry me through the place. And he walked me through, walked me through and when we look at the corner where the kitchen I got there, I'm going to go so blow. The kitchen I look good. You know, the size of the kitchen look good. When I look at the bedroom and when I look outside, the apartment that he brought me into, it was the apartment facing the pool. It was the apartment facing the gym. So, you know, I can stay in my apartment and look down in the pool. He never cared me up on the other side. He never cared me on the ground floor and came to, into this unit. And at that point in time, it was probably only two units were sold. You know, so I was fresh on the, on, on the scene. So I could have gone to any of the prop, any of the units. And when I look out, I'm facing... Where, where, you know, that, give me that view, the pool view, the gym view, you know, I got the view and we walked to the property and I felt it. I said, yeah, man, I ate this. And I remember asking him, I said to him, said, sir, when are you going to have an open house? Because for, for those of you who don't know, open house is when a property has been built and the developer like, get one unit ready or furnish it to, 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 to be a display of what the unit will look like or how it can lay it out. So that's what they call an open house. So I asked him, when will, when will be your open house? And he said to me, I don't need to do an open house. My work speak for itself. And when the man said that to me, I said, no man, this is where I belong. Like it sold me. The confidence he had into what he was doing, it sold me. When he said, I don't need to do an open house, my work, my work speak for itself. And I said, yes, this is it. You know, when I asked him, when he started telling me about the finishing, it's going to be a the modern finish. He, he, he went on his phone. He shows me how the property will look when it is completed. He, show, he shows me how the kitchen will look. He, show, he just showed me everything on his phone on the mock up. I'm going to say, yeah, man, I ate this, man. I ate this. So um, I told him that, you know, I'm going to pray on it. Thank Nicole very much. I said, Nicole, thank you very much. And I, you know, I went to my I couldn't sleep, people. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't sleep. Because I'm just visualizing myself in the space. I vision, visualize myself cooking. Don't ask me if I can cook. I visualize myself just, just moving about the place. And um, when I found, when I, when I think that I found the place, every single week, every single week, I tell you, I drove to the location. When I'm coming in from the country, I drive and I pull up to the gate and I blow at the gate like I reach home because I start to own the process. And this is something that, I, 
you should probably try just believe believe for it believe like you're already in it believe like you're found it believe like 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 you got what you want every saturday since since i came to the place about two days after you know he's before let, let me just backtrack a little about two days after i came back to the place i met with him again and you know ask him how much he wants for deposit i'm going to talk about that next week you know me write a check game for the deposit thank you god i wrote a check to him for the deposit and then after paying the deposit you now it's like you know it just like it turned it turn turn things up just a little more because i have to start believing i have to start owning the process and i have to start you know say yeah yeah somebody so what i find myself doing interestingly is that whenever i'm doing any form any form me i do i start to put this address there because i'm my yard that now you know i found the property you know so i start to write i start practicing writing the address and you know i go to there are nights when i just couldn't sleep like people because the process is very stressful it's not an easy process so if you see me on the road, you see two little gray hair pop out right here, so just no say, you know, you know what caused it, you know. But it's, it's, a, it's a gray hair when I want to get again because, you know, when, when, when the process is over, it feels so good. So there are nights when I couldn't sleep. I'm going to tell you, so I'm going to just get up. I'm going to just drive, go around at the property. I'm going to look at me, you know, stretch me and I say, God, if it is your will, let it be done let it be done i believe in it i believe in it i believe it. i believe that this is a plan you have for me and you know me i'm a god i'm like a reason i'm a driver go back home i go to gym bearing hours and that sometimes leads me to go to the gym late at night you know and there are nights when i'm coming home from the gym i'm just saying, i'm gonna drive go run and practice to see what it will be like if i'm going to gym late mind me i don't probably need to go to the gym late because we're living now have a gym you know but I, I drove around um, around here you know saying you know let me feel what i feel like a drive home after gym um when i'm going to the country when i go to the country and i'm coming back in you know my driving route to come here come here practice when you know when we move and me live here so now me I practice all my route and me I take when me are coming from country all of this is because I'm believing so me I practice a rehearsal me plan for moving you understand so I'm, I'm, a, I'm in rehearsal mode and but what stood up most for me is that every Saturday after church every Saturday after church once I'm in Jamaica and once I'm in Kingston I leave church after the man hour, that's lunchtime for, ch for church, and I will come here. I'm going to tell you, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to say, I pay dust. You know, the place, you know, is even though they are advanced in the building, I don't think they were even 50% on their way yet. And, you know, I'm going to come in and they will not let me through, they will let me through the gate. And I come in and I take my little time, come up the stairs, and, you know, very careful because i have to come up the floors and then i come in and then i would sing and i would pray and i would say god if this is you will be done to the end of this series i'm gonna i'm gonna show you my playlist of songs that carried me through and one of the songs that i would probably come and sing every saturday is see what the lord has done see what the lord has done and there's a part in it say when you walk into that property if you know the song you know me at all yeah man and that's one of the song. I'm going to come in every Saturday after church and I would pray. I'm going to say, God, if it is your will, let it be done. Let it be done. Let it be done. I'm going to look around to see if any improvement. And then come in here and then the time. You know, some Saturdays I come, them tile. One next time I come back, I say, then start putting roof. Them start putting this, then start putting that. And, you know, I just, you know, enjoy the process of all of that. But the developer found favor in me. I'm not sure if it's my consistency into believing and owning everything um he allowed me to come in and do anything we want when we come to the gate anytime we come to the gate then call my boss you know and the the the, the, the workman the modern you know call to me and them say you're yeah, all right and you know carry me up and you know make sure they don't want this or walk so come here someone boss you you know all of that and he would allow me to come in and put in anything that I want, personal, start to personalize the space. And me I tell you, say, remember, say, I'm not get approved yet for the, for the mortgage. Remember, say, even my neighbor dog, me have neighbor, me have dog, me have dog. <laughs> Anyways, ignore the dogs. But before we get approved, before we know about the millions I've come from because I'm millions of the property, um, 
I, I would come in and I would put in speaker in the roof. I'd buy the speakers to the roof, ask them to put it in the speaker. Then you know, I love music, so I put speakers in the bedroom, speakers in the living room, speakers go to the place. And then you now I would come in and I would build my media wall and I put in the little things there, the personal space to, to make, you know, that I would want. And I tell you, I have to just believe. And it's just a matter of believing. So when you find that space, you just have to believe in it. Act like you're living there already. Start buying the things. In, in, in an episode in this series, I'm going to talk about furniture and uh, getting the right furniture and all of that. And I started to buy furniture before I get approved, you know, because I believe and I know that this is where God wants me to be. No, people will ask me crazy when they see I, I, I go there every minute. Or you, you, you know, you do all of the things, then you write address here. You, 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 you're coming into the property and pray something, you drive around or something. Yeah, let them think you're crazy, but you're acting in faith. You are activating faith because there's nothing good that God will withhold from your children. He say it. And if you know that God will not withhold nothing from you, why not act in faith? I mean, no, say God will come true for me. Sometimes it will, the road will get daunting if you like say, boy, it's rough. And then next week I'm going to talk about the mortgage and the approval and stuff. And like this, you know, I'm going to get the artist, one of the artists, time. But I know God was going to work it out for me. I know God was going to work it out for me because I activated my faith. So it might look bleaky when I find a property, it might say, oh God, I can't find a deposit. But I don't know where the closing costs are come from. But, no, but active faith, trust God. Trust God and trust the process. And trust me, as may I tell you, say, it worked for me. Say, if it worked for me, it can work for you. It wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy process. After finding the place, and then you have to start, you know, can I get to, when you, once you once you find the place you get real now and all. So uh the process is not easy, but it's a feeling that is unmatched. So I'm encouraging all of you once, especially in your younger years, can me feel like me are 15 and about you know me almost 40. You know, so the older you are, the more expensive your mortgage is because it cramps your ears. And then now it gives you your premium, a premium they call it. I'm not saying just the care insurance, but your payback, your monthly mortgage amount. The older you are, the more it is. So in your young days, you now go for the mortgage. Nobody with them book was scared pan tall. I could have changed my car, I could have bought a Benz. I don't want to still you know, on JLE. But I could have bought the JLE long time, I could have bought the BMW, I could have bought all of that. But I know in my heart that I want somewhere that I can call home, that where my love, like where I feel like I want to go home to. You know? All of the care and something can come after. And I'm gonna show that it can come after. But it's a you know, own your own place is unmatched. So all the money you have now invest into, into your own place. Open an account, invest that money. Invest that money to own your own place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a strategy next week. We can't talk everything now. One this season in our one episode. So my friends, there you have it for this week's episode of owning your own home. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to drop them down here. I'm here to help you because it wasn't that easy road for me, and because it wasn't that easy road for me. I'm trying to make the road easy for you. So drop your question them down in the comment section. Ask a question them. Uh, my Instagram handle is on the screen now. So DM me if you want. And of course, I will definitely answer all the questions. And if I can't answer it, I have my friends or persons who have helped me in the process to an answer it just for you. So don't be afraid. Drop a comment, man, and ask a question. Next week will be another interesting episode because I'm going to talk about when you find a place, what is the next step? This is where the bank come in and this is where they want even your age. They want everything for you. Every single thing the bank wants. The bank wants every single thing. If they can, if they can get the color of your lungs, they will ask for it. Next week, I'm going to go through that with you. So make sure to come with your pen, come with your pen. And remember to share this, share this with somebody. Somebody who you believe that it will help, it will inspire. So until next week, please remember to love. Start writing your notes because you're happy on your own home. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Big up yourself.